I'm Old Snealock. Today I'm using beeswax to make beeswax applicators for saws. When you have a, a handsaw and you're using it to cut gummy wood, sometimes the tar and pine sap and everything else that is in wood will stick to the saw blade and cause it to kind of bind in the hole. It's not really that the saw isn't sharpened right, it's just it's really gummy wood. To offset that, what I've done is I've come up with a way to use beeswax in the form of this little uh, deodorant applicator. I clean out the deodorant applicator after I've used it up by putting it in hot soapy water and washing out all the deodorant. Then I take the empty deodorant container and there's a screw in it that actually runs the column of deodorant up inside the container. I run that all the way back down to the bottom. I take this little cap which comes with the deodorant, which is kind of a nice thing, it makes it work so well. I put that on the top and then I set the, the clear plastic cap over the top of that. The clear plastic cap puts the bottom of the mold in and holds it in position. I pop out the little plug in the bottom of the deodorant container and I put it into a cup with some paper towel in it to hold the deodorant container upright. Then I take my measuring cup, special measuring cup, bought just for this. It gets wax on the inside, don't use your wipe. As I turn the screw, the wax comes up and I crank it the other way, it goes back down just like it's supposed to. Get it to come out. I put the jackknife in the gap and then just pry up and now it comes. Melt Easy. Wax I need to get it into the measuring cup. I don't want to melt the whole block. I don't need the whole block. I only have two at a time that I'm doing. So I've been cutting this up into quarters. It's a one pound stick of wax. So I've been making it into quarter sticks. about four ounces each. Because each one of these deodorant applicators will hold about two and a half ounces, that works out just about right. I score the top of the block and I hold it over the edge of the counter and hit it. That cracks the block off, and I'm then able to remove the plastic film off the outside and put it into the measuring cup. The way I melt the wax is I kind of sneak up on it. I set it for one minute. Start it, let it run for the minute, check it, let it run for another minute, check it. If it started to melt, I'll stir it a bit. Then, usually I have to run it for another full minute to get that block to melt down. Every microwave is different. You have to check your own to make sure that it works the same way I'm telling you this one does. I'm not recommending that you use a microwave. The wax supplier says do not melt in a microwave. I'm using a Pyrex measuring cup. The measuring cup is designed to be used in ovens and on stovetops. Pyrex, special kind of glass. Don't use a standard glass measuring cup. They'll shatter. Supplier recommends using a double boiler. I don't happen to have a double boiler. You can make one out of a saucepan with a tin can in it. Put the wax in the tin can, fill the saucepan full of water, set the, sauce, set the tin can inside the saucepan so that the water in the saucepan heats the tin can. That way you can be assured that it won't get over 200 degrees. This wax melts 
and approximately 133 to 134 degrees. So you don't need to have it really, really hot, but you got to kind of take it by ear and, and do what you think best. I do these things for myself. You have to watch out for your own self. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Using hot wax, and hot wax has a tendency to drip. I put down some paper towel underneath the cups. The cups are there to hold the containers upright. Paper towel is there to catch any drips. It's always nice if you're borrowing somebody else's tools to make sure that you don't mess them up. Heat the wax. One, there's a danger factor. Two, I'm pouring it into a plastic mold. I don't want to have the wax get hot enough to damage the mold. All it has to be is enough so there's liquid and when it pours in, it stays liquid. Now we can see that we got one little piece left and it's being a little stubborn. Break that up a bit and make it even smaller, get some more surface area on it and it'll melt faster. Okay. That little bit will go right through the spout, no problem. Take my prepared molds, slip my oven mitt on one handed, which is not an easy task, but it can be done. There we go. Then we just pour the wax into the mold. And the same for this one. Now I'll let those cool. When they're solid enough that I can pick them up and move them, I'll use the same thing with them that I did with this one. I put it in a cup with some ice, put it in a glass and put some ice around the glass so that it chills out better. You can see a little bit of the wax down there at the bottom of that opening. And this one is now cold. Pop the top off, a little bottom of the mold comes off. And you can advance the wax out and use it to wax up your saw, piece of wood, screw, whatever you want to use it for. I use it for saws. This block of beeswax cost me $14.99, $15 round figures. Almost this is good of an effect with paraffin. Just have to be careful that you get good paraffin. You don't want to have any paraffin with silicone in it. It'll damage whatever finish you're trying to put on it. It'll make it so it won't stick. But paraffin is only $4.29. It's a lot cheaper. But then also, I have made six, six of these little applicators. I'm going to use those as gifts for other people because I have one applicator and I've been using it for two years and not used it up. So it's not something that you go through a lot of. But it's kind of a fun thing to do on a cold November evening. And it gives me a chance to play with a microwave and hot wax. Not hard to do, kind of fun. Thanks for watching.